Your thermometer has a few different features. As you can see, there are three buttons on the right-hand side. On the top, the first button will allow you to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. By default, it comes in Fahrenheit, indicated by the F. If you tap that top button once, it'll go to Celsius, as you can see reflected on the screen. And if you tap it again, it'll go back to Fahrenheit. Going on to the second button, it's the hold button. What this does, whatever temperature the thermometer is reading, if you tap on the hold button, you'll see that it'll say hold on screen. And what that does is that it holds the temperature shown on the screen. So even if you take it out of the meat or whatever you're taking the temperature of, it'll keep this reading until you take the hold button off again by tapping it again or by closing the thermometer. The last feature is this button here on the bottom indicated by a light bulb. And what this does is if you touch it, you'll see that there's a blue light that comes on that helps you see the temperature reading even in dark situations. And the light will turn off automatically after a few seconds or if you close the thermometer, it'll automatically turn off as well. To safely open and close your thermometer, you'll want to grab the probe by the tip right here where the plastic body has a little indentation which allows you to easily grab the probe and then you'll carefully swing it open. Once you're finished and you want to close it, again carefully swing it back into place inside that slit and then to lock it, you'll give it a little push and you'll hear a little click and that means it's securely locked into place. The best way to take a temperature of your meat is to come down directly perpendicular at the thickest part of the meat. Once the temperature reading holds, that is the internal temperature of your meat. To safely remove the probe, simply take it out the same way you inserted it. Your thermometer comes pre-calibrated right out of the box. If not calibrated correctly, it can be recalibrated by the following steps. First, fill a glass with ice. Then, fill the glass with cold water. Stir the ice and leave for about three minutes. After about three minutes, stir the ice again and immerse the probe into the ice water. Wait for the temperature reading to settle, then press and hold the calibration button, which is indicated by CAL. This is the same button that controls switching between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Once you press and hold the calibration button for about three or four seconds, the letters CALL -L will appear on the screen flashing. Once it starts flashing, a temperature reading will start flashing as well. You'll want to set this temperature reading to 32 degrees. By pressing the hold button, the temperature will go down. By pressing the calibration button, the temperature will go up. Make sure to set it at 32 degrees. Once you have set the temperature reading to 32 degrees, allow the screen to sit idle for a few seconds until the flashing stops. Once the temperature reading stops flashing, your thermometer has been calibrated. If you want to clean your thermometer, do not submerge the entire thermometer into water. Submerging the entire thermometer into water may cause the display to get foggy over time and it may cause some issues. Instead, the proper way is if you want to clean the probe, just simply rinse it off with water. Then dry it off. To clean the body of the thermometer, you'll want to get a damp cloth and just wipe off the screen and the rest of the body. Again, do not submerge the body of the thermometer into the water. If you ever need to change out your battery, the battery is located in the back behind this cover here. Now, in order to get to it, you will need either a screwdriver or a coin, something that you can stick inside this groove here and be able to twist it counterclockwise. And then once you unlock it, the lid will fall off. You can see the battery exposed right there. And you can just 
get something to prop it out. And it comes out pretty easily. And then once you get your new battery, you can place it right where the other one used to be. You'll see like a little metal tab where you can insert the battery and just pop it in. And all you need to do is cover back up with that cover. Again, get your screwdriver. And this time to lock it, you'll turn it clockwise. And you're good to go.